Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel College of Science Curator. I am Karimi with you. Determ uh, today our topic is determine an average value for a small distance and for a short interval of time by measuring multiples, including the period of oscillation of a pendulum. Whenever you take a measurement, it is always a good idea to take multiple of the same measurement and to find the mean as it reduces an inequality. For example, if you are attempting to measure the diameter of a circle, suppose it is a circle, you try to measure the diameter of this circle as accurately as you can at least three times different from different angle then find the mean this is the value that should be used in further calculations same thing for time if you are measuring how long it takes for a reaction to finish. For example, repeat the reaction multiple times and calculate the mean. When a occurrence happened, then starting time and the finishing time uh, calculate several times and deduce the mean time if you are trying to measure the period of a pendulum however the method to find the mean time is slightly different first let me explain some basic terms in case you don't know much about pendulums the period of oscillation of a pendulum a pendulum is a mass that swing back and forth a fixed point this is the fixed point and this is a mass with a string that swing back to forth Back to forth. If the start point, this is the start point, is in the middle, it would have to swing all the way in one direction, all the way in other direction, and then back to the middle to complete one oscillation. So what is the mean, meaning of one oscillation? One complete to and fro movement of the bob from point A to B to C and come back to A. That's called one complete oscillation. So, what is the period of time? Period of time t, time taken for one complete oscillation when uh, the bob is uh, to and fro movement of the bob A to V, V to C, then come back to A is complete, the time taken is called a period of time t so other definition of amplitude amplitude the distance between the rest position this is the rest position of the bob point v to the extreme end of the oscillation either a or point c is called amplitude 
B steps to find the period of oscillation. Period of oscillation, there is a st first steps take the total time for 20 oscillation. So A to B to C and come back to A, complete one oscillation such a 20 oscillation take the total time and step to repeat the step one. Again 20 oscillation complete and taken time t then step c take the average of two timings there is first 20 oscillation then second 20 oscillation so total average of the two timings deduce or uh, take step 4 divide the average in step 3 by 20 of obtained period so total average of time 20 for 20 oscillation divide uh, time divided by 20 so suppose there's time is 25 is a uh, time for 20 oscillation divided by oscillation is 20 then we find the uh, time for time taken for a um, only one complete oscillation that's called a period of oscillation t so t equal to total uh, oscillation time divided by total uh, number of oscillation 20 or n n t by n so this is called a this is called a period of oscillation then see the period of the pendulum t is affected only the length of l is constitute the string plus the radius of both uh, is called a length L or active, active length L and the acceleration due to gravity G is attraction the earth and we find the equation T equal to 2 pi root over L by G then uh, the period of the pendulum t is depend on the active length l and the acceleration due to gravity g when l change l increases the period is increases again the acceleration due to gravity is uh, acceleration uh, or increase the period of oscillation t is decreases so t is not affected by the mass of the pendulum bob suppose this bob is made by a iron or chromium or again copper is not a matter for this period of oscillation is not changed will not be changed for the mass of the pendulum above for example a pendulum swings backward from b to a and forward back to c through b he the middle point of the oscillation is v and the first time the pendulum passes through V as was started the 15 times the pendulum passes the through B the stop was stop uh, and the reading taken is 25.4 seconds what is the uh, period of pendulum already we know the formula T equal to total time taken for total 20 oscillation for os uh, total oscillations oscillations suppose uh, total oscillation is uh, n 
week so we find out the total time by total oscillation is find out the period so period equal to total time taken is 25.4 second and total number of oscillation is 15 so you find out the 1.69 second for only one complete oscillations for this reason is called a period of oscillation when a to b b to c then come back to a is a time taken is 1.69 seconds so is a period of a pendulum thank you for watching and subscribe our youtube channel college of science Creator.